really interesting for as an employer's point of view is I think we had to think hard about you know what what they need at the stage of career that they're in and uh, the learning they need to have so I think we kind of we dug a bit deep and came up with some nice ideas about the next step because I think it's always easy to talk about the long-term journey um, because right now the UK is in a boom over the next really five years time there's there's more content that's being made in the UK than ever before and because of that there's actually a vacuum of talent so what we want to do is suck these the talented kids in now and and really form the next generation of kind of content makers. We're here today uh, at Bucks College Group, who we work in partnership with, and today was all about about the students getting some experience within the plant and construction industry. And we've had our, so our mobile operator skills hub, which is a simulator suite and, and mobile classroom. And we've been able to talk to the students a bit about the construction sector, uh, what the plant industry is like, talked a bit about how they would access employment opportunities within the sector, particularly around apprenticeships. It seems like they're doing a good job. I heard about they're doing um, next year, they're doing for apprenticeship and training and stuff like that, sounds like I want to get involved with us. Like a lot of opportunities opening up for us this year. So it's been really a fantastic journey. We've had Gino in, we've got Steiner and we've got Cliveden who've come in to talk to the students today. Really it's to look at industry links and get the students used to what's actually happening in the industry and what they need to do to be work ready by the time they leave the college. Gino have come in for our level three students and they've shown them an active treatment um, and what it does, how it works for the client. So I've been demonstrating our star facial which has been around since the 1960s and it's called the Hydrodermy Youth Facial. So today's session was very much about just letting the students know exactly what we have to offer as a company um, for what they could do once they've completed level three here at college as this is something they can interview for and go straight into once they've completed their qualifications at college. You know, alongside all the other routes that they can take, this is just another opportunity and something that they can keep in the back of their mind while they're studying. I was here today to talk about how music tech and music production students can get started with a career in the music industry. The music industry can be a bit complicated to understand and navigate and really from a recording studio point of view a lot of knowledge is passed down through apprenticeships and through people applying to be a runner or an assistant engineer. I myself was, was a runner at a studio called Toe Rag in London and that's where I learned a lot of the skills that I know today. Today we've got a range of public service professionals in from the armed forces, emergency services and the non-uniform sector and they've come in today to talk to the students to show what opportunities are available for them and give a bit of a, an overview of just how broadly scoped the qualifications are. Today uh, we've had the opportunity to tell people more about a career in the fire service and probably help students understand a little bit more about that route to employment, um, skills that they need to work on, particularly interview techniques are really important for us in the fire and rescue service, that communication element, so how people can uh, build a career and also understand what employers are looking for. So today has been um, a wonderful opportunity to, um, as a company, be able to come in and speak to different groups of your students who are studying at different levels about what future opportunities there are for them whilst they're doing their, their courses or future opportunities for career growth for them. So we've talked to them about career progression of course, we've also gone through sort of CV writing, what to look for in a CV, uh, some of the local care homes in the area, what they offer, what we offer. 
uh, there's a lot of things that you can get into after you're like level three and you've got your qualification and if you straight want to go into a role and be a practitioner or if you want to go and do further education you can do whilst working in a role. They also explained to us how our job roles wouldn't just be stuck to like being in a nursery setting or just being in like a preschool. We tried to bring along real life experience as well as um, showing them some theoretical employability skills and behaviours that we're looking for as an employer.